Hey everybody and welcome. If you are new here, my name is Claire. I will be your Sunny Trainer today and I'm so excited to work out with you. Before we get started, we do have a huge selection of workouts on our YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications because we do release new workouts every week so that will keep you up to date on whatever our latest workout is. Today we're working the full body, both on and off the mini stepper, doing six supersets. If this is your first mini stepper workout and looking, you're looking to test yourself or if you're a mini stepper pro and you're just looking for a really good challenge, this is the place for you. Today, we are working on a mini stepper full body workout. So we're gonna be on the stepper and off the stepper. We're doing six supersets where we will be on the stepper for one minute and then off the stepper for 30 seconds doing some strength move that I will guide you through and 30 seconds of recovery in between each superset. So if you are ready, let's get started. We'll hop on our mini stepper and just start getting warmed up here. So a few things to check in with before we really get going. We want a, a little form check to make sure that you, your body is in optimal position for the stepper, that you're safe. So we're keeping the feet flat on the plates, pointing forward and back so you don't want your toes to be pointing in or out. And then driving down through the heels with each step. Your core is engaged, so pulling your belly button back towards your spine to activate your core muscles. And then we want just a little bit of a forward lean, not super bent over, but just a slight lean forward to keep your center of gravity over the stepper. And then your arms, really whatever is comfortable. So I like to do like a running, running arm, but you can also put your hands on your hips or in front of you to balance, really whatever works best for you. So just settle in here. We're gonna warm up for another two minutes, three minutes total. And I want you in these next 30 seconds to just pick the pace up a little bit. So now that we've done a full minute of warming up our bodies, now we're just picking up that speed a little. And you might notice that as you get faster, you're not able to go quite as deep into the step and that's okay. Right now we're focusing on speed and the quickness of, our, of activating our muscles on the stepper. And we'll do this for another 30 seconds before we slow back down to our original pace. Dropping those shoulders down and away from the ears. If you notice you're holding any tension in your upper body, just try to let that go. And in 10 seconds, we'll pick it up. All right, so just picking up that pace a little bit more. And again, you'll notice that your step is a little shallower and that's okay. Great. So our first one minute will start in about 45 seconds here. And this is gonna be not quite an all out effort, but a heavy effort. So on a scale of one to 10, I want you around like a seven or an eight. And then right after that minute, we're gonna hop off our mini stepper, grab our weights, and we'll go into our first strength move. And I'll walk you through that uh, with each super set. Cause that's a lot to remember. Checking back in with that form. We're getting ready to go here for our first one minute interval in four, three, two, one, and let's pick up that pace. So smaller, quick steps here. Keeping that slight lean, that slight hinge at the hips. You wanna feel really stable on here. And then focusing on pushing down through your heels. So we're trying to get that glute activation by grounding down through the heels. We're 30 seconds in, we've got 30 to go. Really squeezing your glutes, getting the most out of this movement. Great job. We've got 15 more seconds. 
In 10, we'll hop off the stepper. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's come on down, grab your dumbbells, and we're gonna start with a lateral lunge with a bicep curl. So stepping out into that lunge, keeping your chest up, and then as you come back up to center, curling the weights. So lunge, bicep curl. And again, thinking about pushing through your heel as you step back up. We rest in three, two, one, 30 seconds of recovery. Grab your water, maybe take some small movements back and forth. We'll work on the other leg, our next superset. So don't worry, I didn't forget. In 10 seconds, we'll hop back on the stepper. I'm just gonna get ready. We go in five, four, three, two, one. And picking that pace up with that about seven to eight effort on a scale of one to 10. Great work. Squeezing the core, squeezing the glutes. We're halfway, 30 more seconds. Releasing any tension in your upper body if you're feeling that. And breathe. 15 more seconds and we'll come down to our mats. In five, four, three, two, one. Hop on down and we're switching legs. So whichever leg you did last time, we'll do the opposite. Good. Lunge to curl. Keeping your chest upright really controlling this movement. So trying not to allow momentum to carry you or contracting the muscles, moving intentionally through the exercise. All right, let's go ahead and set those weights down. We've got 30 seconds of recovery. That'll be the last we'll be using the weights. So you can set those aside. And in 20 seconds, we'll hop back on the stepper for our next super set. Great, we go in 10 seconds. And just getting ready, planting your feet securely on the plates. And let's go. So one full minute here. Pace yourself. Find a pace that's sustainable for a full minute, yet it's still challenging. So the, you're gonna find that sweet spot. If you can, pick up your pace just a little bit. Try to challenge yourself. You got this. Great, we're halfway, 30 more seconds. And breathe. Excellent work. You guys are doing great. We've got just a bit over 10 seconds to go. In five, four, three, two, one. Step on down. Come a little bit out from your stepper. We're gonna be doing an inchworm to a push-up. Try not to hit your head on the stepper. I'm gonna take a step back. Inchworm to push up. Feel free to drop down to your knees for that push up if you need to. You're still getting great work with either modification. We've got four, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and rest. 30 seconds of recovery. We'll hop back on the stepper and then we have that same super set again. So we'll repeat that one more time. All right. Grab that water if you need to. 
We've got 15 more seconds. Taking some light movement just to keep that heart rate elevated. All right, let's go. One full minute. Focusing in. Thinking about what you wanna really work on right now and focusing in on that. Squeeze those glutes, drive down through your heels. You got this. We're halfway. Great work, you guys. Pick it up just a little bit if you can. Can you sink a little deeper? 10 more seconds and we'll hop off our steppers. In three, two, one, come on down. Same thing, inchworm to push up. Great job, you guys. Keep working. All right, go ahead and rest. 30 seconds. We've got two more rounds of supersets left. Almost done, doing amazing. All right, in 20 seconds or so, We'll start, I'm just gonna hop on my stepper for some light movement. If that feels good, I encourage you to do that. If not, do what you need to do. But we go in about five seconds. In three, two, one, and let's pick up that pace. Quick, fellow steps here. Don't forget that forward lean and squeezing your core muscles. Excellent. All right, we're halfway, 30 more seconds. Good. Keep working, keep moving those legs. You got this. Last 10 seconds here. We'll come on down to the mat. In five, four, three, two, one. Hop on down. We're going into a side plank rotation. I'm starting on my left side in a modified plank. So knees are bent. You're lifting the hips raising your right hand towards the sky, threading the needle through underneath you. You're more than welcome to be in a full plank here if you want a little bit of extra, whatever variation works for you. And we rest in three, two, one, 30 seconds. We've got one more round of that after this rest. And then we get to cool it down. Great work, you guys. All right. Grab that water if you need it. And center your feet on the plates. And we go in five, four, three, two, one. Last minute on here. Whatever you have left in the tank, put it in right here. What can you do in these next 45 seconds? Come on. Perfect, you're halfway, 30 more seconds. Focus in. All right, last 15, 
And we come down to the mat for our last strength move in 10. Come on down in five, four, three, two, one. And switch sides. So I'm on my right side now into that side plank or modified side plank. And we're rotating up towards the ceiling and then through the space underneath your side. And we've got 15 more seconds. Great work. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and come to a rest. Before we do some stretching, I do want to cool down a little bit. So hop on your stepper just for a really nice, easy stepping movement back and forth. Just keep those mo legs moving a little. You never want to be doing something that's high intensity or challenging and then just suddenly stop. It's always a good idea to move those legs, flush them out a little bit before you stop completely. Let your breathing rate come down a little bit. Cool downs are so, so, so important. And we'll do this for another 45 seconds or so. Just really nice and easy. It's nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Great work today, you guys. legs back and forth. We've got another 20 seconds. Okay. Last 10. In five, four, three, two, one. Come on down. And we're going to start with a quad stretch. So bringing the right heel to the right glute. And then making sure that your knees are both in alignment. So notice if your leg is coming way out here, try to tuck it back. You might be a little wobbly. You can find a wall or a chair or something if you need. Perfect. And let's switch sides. Stretching, try to breathe and relax into the stretch. And this is a perfect time for static stretching when your muscles are warm and a little bit more flexible. This is exactly when you want to be doing this kind of stretching. Five more seconds here. And both feet come to the ground. Let's do a forward fold, reach up towards the sky and down towards your toes. Let your body hang. Relax your head and your shoulders. Take as much bend in your knees as you need to to help release your back. And come on up. We'll come down to the mat. And we'll do a figure four stretch. So bringing your right ankle to your left knee. Chest is tall. Trying not to collapse down into your shoulders. So find a nice lift here. Great, and let's switch sides. Left ankle comes to the right knee. And breathe, try to release that hip. And come on back down for a butterfly stretch. Soles of the feet come together. And you can, if this feels good, if you're getting a great stretch, go ahead and stay here. Or if you want to fold, you can do that as well. All right, a few more 
more seconds here in this stretch. Take one more deep breath. And come on up. Great job, you guys. Thanks so much for working out with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you can get up-to-date information on workouts that are re released weekly. And if this was your first mini stepper workout, leave me a comment. Let me know how you liked it. And if you'd like to see more videos just like this. See you next time.